Welcome back on Gaming. This is Devin, and we all knew this was going to happen, but they finally announced it that Marvel Avengers will be losing support. And the reason why I say that is just because, you know, no one's playing this game. There's a lot of YouTubers out there showing how many people are playing this game on Steam, and the number was really low. Um, and then, of course, PlayStation Plus added it to their premium and also extras. So then you were able to go ahead and play the game, download in that. And, I mean, that wasn't even able to go ahead and, and save it. I mean, that was from July as well. So, I mean, maybe depending on how that was going to do um, or how the game was downloaded or played or that might have impacted this. But, yeah, even even with it being free, no one really wanted to, um, you know, support it or play it or that. And, I mean, there's a lot of reason that we'll get to in just a bit. But... Um, basically, the news is, is that um, this game is going to be receiving a final patch on September or March 31st and be officially cutting its support uh, after September 30th. And, you know, like I said, no surprise right there. Um, just because, um, yeah, like I said, no one was playing it. But, I mean, there were so many bad things with this game. Uh, the story was just really annoying um not that good of course and also when it comes on a multiplayer the problems i had with it was that um a lot of the same enemies uh the dlc was i guess pretty good or interesting with the characters but um especially with the dlc characters it sort of seemed like a lot of them were um i don't know just costumes of characters or copies of characters uh with a lot, lot what they did and um also i mean a lot of the missions just seem very s the same as well um and just didn't really keep you invested um so i mean you know had the fun that i had out of it i mean it was it was all right um but definitely not to what the hype was when this was announced uh but i mean aside from that they also did talk in the article about how you know they it was heavily rumored that some other characters were going to be added to this game as well. Um, I mean, I guess it says here heavily rumored, so maybe it's not a completely official, but it was talking about She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Shiri, and Ironheart, uh, which is no real surprise either just because Marvel's really pushing them with TV shows and movies. And, you know, this group of characters, I mean, would this really have save this game if these characters came out i mean i'm pretty sure she hulk would have been a copy of uh um hulk and iron heart would have been a copy of uh iron man so i mean would that really have done anything and i mean you know with the tv shows and movies and that uh they're not doing the best either so you know um yeah um, but, uh, yeah, don't really think that that would have really done anything if they would have even came out with those, but, uh, those were supposedly planned as well for this game. And, um, sort of the final thing that I sort of wanted to talk about with this game as well, or, you know, if you did want to go ahead and start playing it again, is that they did say that all the DLC will be, uh, free for this. Um, so any kind of cosmetics, uh, will be able to be downloaded uh but i think what well, you have to download it before september i believe um and then maybe after the the patch in march i think that you can start downloading it for free but one of the interesting things or funny things i saw about this was that there was a tweet by someone that said that um basically crystal dynamics of course the uh, one that uh, did this game um they released a dlc pack of marvel avenger mcu outfits and they had it where you can buy it for 75 dollars. and the funny thing is that i think that's what a lot more than the game is even right now i think you can get this game pretty cheap as well um but this is more than the game is actually uh just so you could play as you know iron man from iron man 3 or thor from uh what is it love and thunder or whatever um, just so you could play as all those, uh, skins. I mean, there's a lot of skins involved with that, but I mean, just for skins, $30 or $75. No, it just isn't worth it to begin with. But, uh, they were saying in that tweet that 
it was one day later that they said that this game is completely done losing support. So they had it for sale for $75 at one day. Then basically everyone knew it was going to be free anyways. So um, buy that. I'm willing to bet that something made them announce this right now. Um, why, you know, they're cutting support of it. I don't necessarily know what it was, but uh, it just seems very interesting that they would have a DLC outfit pack up for one day for $75 and then say that everyone's getting free DLC afterwards, free cosmetics. So I'm willing to bet something didn't go to plan with their announcement of this, but I mean, either way, anyone really excited about this? Anyone actually going to go ahead and play this game now? Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, just interesting the whole thing with this game, just because when this game was first announced, it seemed like a really cool idea, uh, seemed very interesting. Um, still remember when people were really upset that Spider-Man was coming to this game. And even the, the best part now is that Spider-Man is still not going to be put on Xbox. Um, you know, after, uh, they go ahead and cut support of this, they're not going to add, Spider-Man to Xbox, but, you know, it was just such a big thing at the time that everyone was upset about Spider-Man, and, you know, maybe that's the thing that killed it from the start, I don't know, but, um, but, uh, yeah, very, very interesting how this game actually turned out, and, you know, could have been a really good game, um, I mean, one of my favorite Marvel games, of course, is, well, Spider-Man, and then also, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, that's a really great game, being able to put all those characters together. Um, and there was real potential for this game, but, you know. And it had a lot of good voice actors in it, too. So, you know, such a shame for what happened. But let me know in, in the comments below. You still play this game? You know, is this really cool that you get all this um, skins free now? At least you don't have to buy any, what, V-Bucks or whatever kind of dollars they had in the game for uh, these transactions. But... Let me know what you think below, and uh, we'll uh, see you later. Thanks. Bye. Oh.